we as people of color need to look at our ancestry and white to find out what our people did and who we are and what what they accomplished. I'm Peter Datcher. I'm my family's family and community's historian. My mother told me things that were very important about history. My mother, Ruth Datcher, is the one who passed these things down to me, who planted these seeds and never let me forget them. My grandmother, born 1870, her name was Rachel Baker Datcher. She passed on a lot of history to my mother and aunt, and my mother and aunt would be talking about it. That's how I heard a lot of things. I didn't realize what I was hearing until I started doing the history and started reading some things that, God, I've already known this. Growing up rurally in Harpersville and Vincent, most of us that grew up rurally, we worked. I'm talking about from the time you were seven, eight years old, you had chores. Everything from working in the garden all the way up to driving tractors, plowing, cultivating, and of course, picking cotton and chopping cotton when we were first using the tractors and stuff. We were breaking ground, disting that up, then we hair it down, then you come back and plant, then you got to cultivate three or four times. All that's few. In the 70s, when this few skyrocketed, almost doubled in price, it was hurting us. Plus, we weren't getting enough for the cotton and different crops. Farmers threatened to strike. Went to Washington. A lot of them sending people to Washington to try to convince Congress to help us a lot more than they were doing. I made two or three notes. I knew what I wanted to say. I knew what position we were in at that time. I was talking about it. I can't remember what all I said. But I was the first one to get four standing ovations. I didn't know that, but the news media knew it. And boy, when I got back, they was on top of us every, every five or 10 years. They was, if it's farming, we go see the Datchers. I was looking at Albert Baker's and Lucy Wallace's headstone. He had founded Baker's Grove Church. He had founded the Datcher Farm. He started it in 1875. When I looked at it, I said, oh God, I'm, he was 50 years old when slavery ended. He was 50 years old. I'm 50, and yet, he founded this farm. I knew when he bought it, but he did all of this after that time. And I'm 50 years old, I ought to be president. I never forget thinking that to myself. After I realized what he had done, all of that, I had to find out who he was because to me, that man's name needed to be said. After my mother had passed, I went to going through things. And one day I was out here and I was going in the trunks and I went to seeing all these pictures and documents. And my mother had kept all this stuff. When I went to looking at everything, I said, oh my God. I said, well, ain't nobody living in here. I said, I'm gonna put these things up. I'm gonna put these pictures off. When people come here, they get to see stuff. And I end up, just about touching the whole community. A lot of these were original prints. And I noticed that we had pictures almost involving everybody in this community. things that was ironic and a lot of the older people stories that they give me for some reason most of them died not long after they gave me these stories when I thought about it I almost made me start crying this morning wondering what the Lord was trying to do I knew that the Lord wanted me to get into this he didn't make it money wise but I've had too many things happen 
What I do is not about me. It is about my ancestors. Yes, I've done a few things. I didn't know I had done a few things, but I've done a few things. But my ancestors have done much more.